you know, there is a lot of um, you know HTML5 games out there. So this is our game, some uh, Ideateca, which specializes just on building um, HTML5 games, and they've actually done their own you know JavaScript uh, libraries for HTML5 uh, games. This is a very simple game. You need to hit the number that says here, 12. So let's see, it's nine and three, 12, and then you kill it. I've uh, been practicing this weekend, so <laughs> quite good at this. Nine and six, oops, I miss it there. All right, so, so this is just a, a simple uh, 2D game. And this game is preloaded in the device, so the game is actually uh, working offline. You don't have to be connected to the internet to, to run the game. We've also done uh, something interesting. There's lots of HTML5 websites with games on the website. So what we've done is just uh, you know, place a link here. This goes to a, a popular um, game website, uh, hopefully. Uh, there you go. So it's loading now. So it's loading. Uh, it's Twin Soft. It's a, it's a HTML5 uh, gaming website. So, so you get this other game, Tower Jelly, it's called. So you have to take the jellies and build the tower. There you go. As you can see, I've been practicing this weekend. <laughs> I'm pretty good at this. All right. So, so these are um, you know more sophisticated uh, uh, 2D games uh, that are also available, and you can see them working offline on the phone. So you can use them anytime, even if you're not connected, and you can use them. You know, just bringing the the game from the from the website. So it's we've taken the content of the book and basically just placing it here on the device. So. So we take the, the book, and uh, with a very simple JavaScript application, you can actually have an e-reader that will allow you to, to read books directly from here in a completely open way. OK, so, so that's it. So this is what we wanted to show you. We wanted to show you first that everything uh, on that you expect on a phone will be working here, and it's all JavaScript, that the performance is really good, and moreover, that the ecosystem is already there, because everything you've seen are things that exist and that are built in HTML5 that run pretty much out of the box in this device. Now, what we expect is that this will become much more interesting because the extension put into HTML5 will allow developers to do even more cool things than what they're doing today uh, once uh, this uh, reference implementation gets standardized. So, thanks a lot. Uh, and